Hello friends. Today we look into a commonly asked question by many of our viewers that is when do I report a newly purchased plant from a nursery or a garden store or even online purchase plant. We'll also look into some basic concepts with two important tips or hacks at the end of the video related to reporting. Stay tuned. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon so that you won't miss any updates. Reporting house plants is also called stepping up your plants. Often people have misconception that reporting your newly purchased plant into a larger container and a nutrient rich potting soil will make your plant grow like crazy. This is not always true. One simple concept to keep in mind is grow good roots and the foliage will follow. Now I shall discuss some very important points and concepts that you must keep in mind if you want to keep your newly purchased plant healthy and avoid the wilt and shock. So let's begin this topic. To answer this question of when should I report my newly purchased plant, you need to consider four scenarios. Because the answer to this question is different in different scenario. The first two are very important. So first let's list out these situations one by one. The first scenario is when do I report a newly purchased plant from a local nursery or garden store. Then the second situation is when do I report a plant purchased online. Then the third one is what if I am not happy with the dirty container or grow bag the plant came along with. Then the fourth scenario is what if the soil used by the garden store is not up to the mark and is clay rich and not well draining soil. Well, without making the video long and boring, let's quickly check out the conceptual answers to these queries. First scenario, if your plant just came home from a local garden store or nursery, let it adjust to its new environment for one or two weeks before reporting it. This is because the plants are in shock until they get used to new factors like light, temperature and humidity conditions. Then coming to the second scenario that is when you purchase a plant online, reporting immediately is the best solution because it is very much likely that the plants would have traveled hundreds or thousands of miles and many days before reaching its destination that is your home. The plant will be going through a recovery period and an acclimatization period during these days of transport in whatever medium the seller packs them in. So why let the plant reacclimatize twice in this situation? The cycle involved in this process is perhaps like this. An order is received at the online nursery, plants are pulled out from the guard growing area, plants are packaged and then placed in a sleeve or box, plants are then loaded onto the courier or transport vehicle, then after so many days of travel, whether surface travel or by air, it finally reaches you home. Therefore, when you receive this type of delivery, it's wise to immediately report the plant. Well now quickly coming to the third question, what if I am not happy with the dirty container or the grow bag the plant came along with. In this situation the best thing to do is to retain as much as mother soil of the plant as you can. This way the mother soil takes care of the plant and its roots are not disturbed. Then lastly the what if the mother soil is bad or fully clay rich or with no proper drainage. We usually frequently come across this situation in our country like India. The solution to this is you can wait for at least a week or two and then report the plant by removing the clay rich soil. If you want to completely remove this soil you better not pull it just like that from the roots. Your plants can, uh, your plant roots can undergo injury and damage. I have already told you about this simple hack in my previous video that is to soak the root ball in a bucket of water till the sticky clay rich soil dissolves. If you want to give more protection to your plant, you can also use a dilute solution of hydrogen peroxide of about 5 ml in 1 litre of water or even Epsom salt solution like about 1 teaspoon of Epsom salt in 1 litre of water. Then finally, after reporting to counter the transplant shock in any case, you can water the plant with Epsom salt solution once or twice a week for about a month. Also, one last thing to keep in mind is perform reporting in the evening hours to prevent shock to the plant during sunlight which is the active time for photosynthesis and scientifically the plant enters the respirative Krebs cycle and is no longer using water taken up from roots for photosynthesis and this way the new plants have overnight time to rest and adapt. 
so there we have it folks those were the answers and explanation to a simple question of when to report a newly purchased plant from a nursery if you like the video please click thumbs up for me and also share the video and comment something below the video consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel happy gardening